Hello and welcome everyone. This is your friend Himal Langal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a live persistent Scala Linux USB drive. So, at first, uh, to create a live USB drive of Scala Linux, uh, we need a certain things. So, before that, uh, hey guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you are connected with me. So, let's leave this here. So, to create a live persistent drive of Scala Linux, uh, we need ISO file of Scala uh, Linux. So uh, just go to this link, uh, kali.org, and after that, down here you can find the uh, uh, live boot option. So download the uh, ISO file of Kali Linux from here. So just click on this download, or either you can go to the torrent link and download it from there. So after downloading the uh, ISO file of Kali Linux, uh, we have to download up uh, Rufus which is uh, used for creating a bootable USB drive so I'll give this link down in the description box so no need to worry about it so here we go uh, so you can go through these links and you can download the Rufus so after downloading the Kali Linux ISO file and the uh, Rufus uh, go to that folder so uh, double click on the and run it as the uh, administrator so after that uh, choose the usb drive so i recommend you uh, choosing at least 32 gigabytes of the uh, uh, usb drive so now choose the uh, I iso image of the uh, car linux so go to that folder so here we go and now we have to create a persistent partition size so for a uh, 32 gigabyte of uh, usb drive you can uh, create up to 15 uh, 15 gigabytes of persistent uh, partition size so here we go um, and just leave uh, everything as it is and you can label the volume whatever you like so it may take a while to create a, a bootable usb drive of car linux So basically, after creating a persistence live uh, USB drive for Kali Linux, uh, whatever you store uh, while using that uh, live Kali Linux, it will be stored on that particular uh, USB drive. So uh, no data loss uh, will be absorbed. So this is the uh, difference between a live uh, bootable USB drive and a live persistence bootable uh, USB drive of Kali Linux or any other operating system. So now uh, the live Kali Linux persistence USB drive is successfully created. So now what you have to do is just close this uh, Rufus and after that uh, restart the PC. So after restarting the PC, you run boot setup key. In my case it is aftable. So now choose the bootable USB drive. So you can see the uh, Kali Linux interface here. So now choose the fourth option, live system with USB persistence. And now the uh, Kali Linux will take some time to load. So you have to wait until that. So now you can see that uh, Kali Linux is loaded. So now you can see the uh, home screen here. So now let me uh, show the how the. So now let me show how the uh, USB Live persistence work. So now, so this is the Kali Linux interface. So now I'm going to create a folder uh, to show that um, this uh, live USB stores the files and folders um, and it doesn't erase anything uh, we made a 
here. So now I'm going to change the uh, background of my uh, desktop as well. So now let me change it. So here we go. So after doing this, I'm going to restart my uh, PC and uh, I will show you how the uh, live persistence USB work. So here we go. So now after restarting, uh, let me uh, choose the USB um, device uh, for uh, booting my PC. So now again choose the fourth option. So you can see this, the car Linux is successfully loaded here and you can see here the changes uh, we made earlier, uh, they are still here and nothing is erased and our changes are uh, right here. You can see that folder and you can see the background here, uh, which I uh, changed a few, few moments ago. So now you can see this here, the car Linux live USB persistence is uh, working uh, really fine. So hey guys, in this way you can create a, a USB bootable persistence of Kali Linux. So hey guys, thank you for watching. I'll make such video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.